Another question we have is around leg engines. So a lot of people are always asking, why can't you put engines on the legs or under the feet? And, and you know, why wouldn't that be fun? Now, there is a clip of the very first flight I ever did, which involved actually having an engine on the back of each leg. The logic of this was, I thought that your legs are designed to support your weight, so why don't you attach the form of propulsion, at least some of it, to your legs and have two on each arm, and then your legs can quite happily take that push. Kind of worked, but there was a number of problems. When the engines are so close to the ground, they tear up the ground, even concrete, but let alone something like uh, grass or loose surface. The amount of energy in the air when the exhaust is only that far away from the ground, it just blows stuff everywhere. So that really limits where you can take off from. Also, there's a risk that as you move your arm engines anywhere near your feet, as in when you vector downwards, um, there's a risk that the exhaust goes into the intake of the lower engines. In the early days, I had a couple of problems with that and I blew up a couple of engines. And I don't mean catastrophically blow up, I mean they just died because the intake sucked in hot air and that spiked the exhaust temperature, which melted the turbine blades out. Not such a great thing. The final thing is that I really noticed that as you go to learn to take off, with an engine attached to each leg, your your legs, your brain gets confused as to why your legs are still feeling like there's some ground under them when there isn't. Um, it's kind of a confusing sensation and it makes you want to kind of almost pedal your legs, a bit like holding a dog above a paddling pool. When you jump off a bridge, there, there's this natural instinct of like pedaling and trying, I think it's your brain not really sure where the ground is. I felt the same thing when I was trying to learn to do this in the early days. And it's very disconcerting because as soon as you bend your leg, then the thrust is now not going down anymore. It's going sideways, which means you start to rotate and go unstable. So what I'm trying to say is it's very hard to learn to balance and coordinate with engines on your legs. Now, it doesn't mean that in the future, near future, we won't go and add them back for some fun extra propulsion that once you've taken off, you then go and accelerate them as well. And maybe that'll give you some amazing maneuverability for the race series. As you go round a pylon, maybe you can kick your legs out and help force yourself round the corner. I think that could be pretty cool. And clearly it looks very Iron Man, but for the reasons I've described, that's why we haven't gone and used that as the main mounting point for engines. Two on each arm and one on the back. That's been the layout that's worked the best so far.